hello so today we're going to be creating a mandala collage um, we're going to be using the paper from the marbling that we did the other day so we did some we used some marbling ink on some paper the other day and created some lovely designs and um, so we're going to use, cut that paper up to create a mandala collage so what is a mandala? I'm going to read this from this piece of writing that I've got in front of me. So a mandala is a symbolic representation of the universe with an inner and outer world. The word mandala comes from Sanskrit, that's S-A-N-S-K-R-I-T, and it's an ancient Indian language. Literally, mandala means circle. So in the next couple of clips i'm just going to show you some examples of mandalas that i've got from the internet just to give you an idea about how they look um a lot of people do create mandalas through just simply doodling um on a piece of paper you know just start from the middle the center point and then just put your way out and um, so some examples coming up next Here's some of the marbling that I did the other day. It's dry, but if you do rub it, it does come off a little bit on your fingers, but it's good to go. Um, I've got this canvas, this small canvas here. It's just gonna be a small collage. Um, and then I've got things to draw around. I'm gonna draw around that. I might make, want to make some small petals. Just little things, you've got egg cups or bowls or you know, lid jar, glass jar lids or anything you can draw around, um, use them. So you're also going to need some glue, some scissors and pencil and if you wanted to mix in some coloured paper as well with your um, marble effect, um, I've got some coloured paper as well. Here it goes. Okay, so from the size of my canvas I've just cut out a square piece of coloured paper and that'll get glued on the canvas. But just to start off with, I wouldn't glue anything down, I'd just play around with design um, and just layer it on top and then take a picture of it and then glue it all down once you're happy with your design. So now I'm just cutting out some triangle shapes. Just got the creases and I can cut down the lines. So you can see what I've done, I've cut out them like this. And now I'm just going to start adding little bits from the paper that I've done the marbling on. So again, this is the old idea of playing around with different ideas. So I've changed my mind about the blue and I've decided to use a piece of the marbled sheet to start off with and then put my little pizza slices on to get my initial circle to start off with. I think the colours look much better rather than the blue. So I found a bowl that's just a little bit smaller than the bigger bowl. I'm just going to draw around that and cut that one out. So I've just cut this one out and I think that'll look nice there. I'm just going to keep layering it and layering it and layering it. I might do some petal shapes as well. I'm kind of sticking to a similar colour theme as I'm going along here. So I'd like to put some petals just overlapping the edges of these triangles here. So I'm going to use this one that I marbled. So I've just got a lid, you know, like off um, a gravy lid. So I've just drawn some circles on the back and I'm just going to cut them out. So I've just cut out six circles um, and I'm going to cut these into petal shapes. So I'm just going to fold them in half and then just cut out a petal shape around and scissors. It looks like a petal. Oh, there you go. That's a petal. So maybe I'm just going to stick them around. I'm just going to keep my scraps as well for now because I might end up using them for something else. I have another sheet, I've just cut this shape out, so I'm thinking of putting, I don't know whether to put that on top um, or to put it underneath them. So I'm just going to play around until I'm happy with that because there might be another 
circle um, in the middle of that one as well. I'm still playing around with mine, so I mean you could cut little shapes out. I remember making like little snowflakes <laughs> when you were younger um, and putting them in like that. Bit undecided yet. So I'm still playing around with it. I'm just in the middle of cutting out some more little petals just to start adding in these little gaps there. Pretty much feeling quite happy with mine now. Um, so I think I want to start gluing it to the canvas. I think I've paid maybe one of my circles there. Just uh, see how it turns out on the canvas. I removed a couple of the triangles and spread them out a little bit so you can see some more of the uh, marble in and I also cut wavily around the edges. So there we go, I finished it. So as you can see towards the end I just added a little bit more contrasting colours, petals, smaller ones here and there. That's quite pretty that, I really really do like that. I really enjoyed doing it as well, it's quite relaxing. I just love the colours as well. I'd make a nice card that. Or a gift for Mother's Day. Lovely jubbly.